Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss very interesting problem, especially for cricket fans. We will have a lot of fun and also we will learn a lot of things. Okay, so watch this video till end. You are going to learn a lot of things. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to the channel for data analytics related content. Okay. So I have the all the information of Sachin's each match. So match one, how many runs he scored and everything other information. We are interested in it only runs in today's video. Okay. So we have match innings. So match or end innings can be different because if in some match uh, player doesn't get uh, chance to bat, then that will not be counted as inning. So for example, here Sachin did not bat. So if you see, this is 10th match. 11th match, 12th match, but Ealing, but, but Ealing is 11th only because here he did not get chance, right? So, similarly, we have all the match information, how many runs he scored. So, in the output, I want to see all the milestone matches, like in which match Sachin completed 1000 runs. So, in 36 match or 34th inning. Similarly, 5000 runs in 141st match, 10,000 and 266. And I will, we will create a dynamic query so that we can add as many milestones as we want. Okay. So it will be a lot of things you will learn. So let's start. So let me open a new window. Okay. I will keep it as it is. Okay. Now one thing is for sure that we have to find rolling sum, right? Rolling sum means from first match, I have to keep adding all the runs. Then only I will get to know when he is eating 1000 or 5000 or 10,000. Okay. So let me quickly find the rolling sum and I will select only the columns which are required. So I need match. I need innings. And I need runs, right? That's it. And then I will find a rolling sum. Sum of runs, right? O over. I have to find rolling sum. So order by match. Right, it is by default in ascending order and rows between unbounded preceding. Unbounded preceding means from first row itself, all the sum I want and till current row as rolling sum. Let me run this and show you quickly. So we have got the rolling sum. So 0, 0, here it is 36. So it is the addition of 3 matches and then it is 46. Then you add 20 more 66. So we have got the rolling sum now. If you look at the 1000 runs, so we will say as soon as it reaches this match, 36th match, Sachin has got 1000 runs, right? So we have got this rolling information. Now we have to find the different milestones. Okay. So we want to make this as a dynamic query so what i'll do first i will create this as a ct one uh, ct one as this okay also i will create ct2 as all the milestone which i want to see right so for example i want select one as milestone this column is not required but just for representation i am doing it it looks good and milestone runs so i want to see thousand right in how many uh, milestone runs okay similarly what i want i want i will do a union all and one more union all and i will show you later how easily we can add more milestones and get the output five thousand and then three and ten thousand I just run this and show you what I will get. I will get these three rows, right? Now I will join these two data sets and just be patient. I will explain to you in detail what I'm doing. If you get confused on the join. So I'll say select star from CT2. Okay. I'm going to do a inner join on CT1 on. Okay. This is important part. So I'm saying, give me all the records where rolling sum is greater than milestone runs, right? When the rolling sum is greater than milestone runs, which means that I have crossed or Sachin has crossed that milestone, right? How it will work? Just, just have a patience. It's greater than milestone runs. Okay. 
I am running this query. Okay, if you have you have not understood, wait, wait for it. I will explain you. So if you see for milestone one has joined with the data and we have got see 36 match. Okay, only 36 match onward milestone one is joined with this data. Right, right. Now like look at the milestone two. So milestone two, let me sort it by milestone first of all. Uh, let me sort it by milestone. Uh, order by milestone number. Okay. Okay. So we have all the data. Only after Sachin has caused thousand runs, this milestone number one has been joined. Okay. Now when we look at two, if you see at two, 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 five thousand runs, right? Only after 5000 runs, I am seeing milestone 2. So, what is happening here? Okay. So, what I will do, let me put it in a separate sheet and then I will explain you. Execute and let me execute this upper query and I will tell you how this join is working. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me take both of them. Uh, okay, it is fine. I will run here. Okay, so if you see what is happening, I am joining this data with this data, right? I am saying, give me all the records where rolling sum is greater than milestone runs, right? So when this this row will get joined with this whole data, okay? But my condition is. Rolling sum is greater than milestone runs, which means all these rows until rolling sum is 1000, these rows will not be joined. Only from here, only from here, this row will be joined with every other row here onwards. Before the here, it is not joined because I am not doing, doing a join on any key. I am just saying rolling sum should be greater than milestone run. So we are talking about first row, this first row would be joined only for the rows where rolling sum is greater than milestone runs. That's why in the output you see only milestone 1 starting from here. Similarly, when this row will come, again only those rows where rolling sum is greater than 5000 will be joined, right? So it is kind of cross join but we have a condition, right? If I don't put any condition. This row will be joined with all the rows. Second row will be also joined with the all the rows. And third will also be joined with the all the rows. But because of this condition, only those rows where rolling sum is greater than milestone runs is getting joined. Okay, let me run this again. So now we know that whenever it is, where is the first row, right? That is the match when for each milestone number, whenever is the first match, that is the match when Sachin has caused the milestone. So what I will do? I will just say milestone number, right, comma, milestone runs, right. So milestone runs, comma, I want minimum of match as match number, right. Comma minimum of innings as innings number or milestone milestone match we can say right so let me put milestone match and milestone inning milestone match and milestone innings right and I'm doing order by on this these two right. So milestone runs and milestone number will be same, right? For all those rows. I hope it makes sense. Let me know. I can create another video if it is not clear. And let me run this now. Okay, so we have got. But wait, wait. We have one more interesting thing here, right? So we have got that 1000 runs reached in 36 match. 5000 in 141, 10,000 in 266. Now I want to add one more milestone, right? What I will do? I'll just copy this. Paste it. 
oh this column is not required by the way but i am just adding and i will add 15000 i want to see 15000 only that's it i will run it and we will get that also that can such in completed 15000 run in 37 months so it becomes so easy you can add as many milestone numbers as you want or you can create a table physical table in your database and keep updating it if you have to add more milestone okay i hope you loved that video i am making this video today on on 9th of july just before india england t20 match it will it is going to start in another half an hour so i was in the cricket mode and i created a video on cricket actually someone commented this question on youtube today on one of the video so yeah i hope you guys have fun thanks for watching it so far and let me know if you have a better solution data set link will be there in the description box have a good day bye bye